quite recently I had uh, talked about Ragam Shenjuriti in the No Araga series where I have graphically represented the Arohanam and Avarohanam. It is a very unique Ragam and today I am planning to teach a small Kriti of Muthuswami Dikshatar uh, in uh, this Ragam said to Adi Thadam on Lord Ganesha. So it, once you learn this Kirtana, it will be like a, an intimate prayer with the God. The Raga is unique in the sense, it's got a folk feel to it. It's got a sense of pleading that, uh, you know, you're, you're going to God with that pleading effect. Uh, and one more uh, unique thing about this Raga is that its scale is only one and a half octaves. The Arohanam itself extends from the Panchamam of the Mantra Stai to the Nishadam of the Madhya Stai and that's all it is and it goes back. So this Ragam is normally not sung in three octaves like you do for your Mohanam and your Hamsadvani. You can go down to the Mantra Stai, you can go to the Anumantra Stai, you can go to Tara Stai, Ati Tara Stai, anywhere the Ragam will bloom. But uh, here, because it is that one and a half octave, stopping at me, Nishadam itself, and then and in the lower uh, segment, it is stopping in the Mantrastai Panchama. Normally, this Raga is played in the Madhimastai Shajama. What is that? For many of you who are new to the Madhimastai uh, Shajama, do go and watch a few of my videos where I have talked about the shifting of pitches. Now, my Veena is set to pitch E. But this is not going to be the sa for this particular kirtane. This tutorial of Ragam Shenjuruti, we are going to shift the sa to the ma. Position of ma on the first string or the middle octave, Madhya Stai. The, the ma of the Madhya Stai is now going to be our Shajama. So learn to listen to the ma like as though it is sa. Sa. It makes it easier for us to use the lower notes and stay on the first string itself for the entire raga. If we are not doing this, not only are we going to jump between strings, but also the brightness of the song cannot be brought up. Such ragas where you go into the uh, mantra stai and then stop with the portion of the madhya stai, to bring out the brightness, the throw of the song, it is always better to shift them to the madhya stai shajma. That is the reason why we are shifting. So if this is Sa, look at the Arohanam Avarohanam on the screen. It says, Dasa Rega Ma Padani Nidapa Magari Sa Nidapa Dasa Like I had mentioned, for a graphic representation, if you want to picture how it goes, do go and watch the video on the No Araga series. So if this is Sa, look down. The V2 will be your Da. Chatashruti Daivatam of the Mantra style. And the open note will be the Pa. So, Da, Sa, Da, Da in V2 and Sa in Ma. From now on, we are going to talk as though this is Sa and the rest of the notes are going to follow. Sa, you leave one note and you'll get your V2 or the Chatashruti Rishabam. Leave one note and you get your Antara Gandharam. Ma 1, the very next note to Gandharam, Suddha Madhyamam. Leave one note and you get your Panchamam. Leave one note, you get your Chatushruti Daivatam. And the immediate next note is Ni. This is your Arohanam. Uh, the Ni Nishadam is a Kaishiki Nishadam because Chenjuriti is a Janyam of 28th Melakarta Ragam, Harika Bodhi. Once again, the R one goes like this. I played the Ma in Ga itself and I'm playing the Ni, push the Ni in Dha itself. Once again, from Sa to Ri, I'm connecting. Ma, I'm oscillating it in Gandharam. Ni is getting oscillated again in Daivatam itself. Now the Avarohanam is a very long one. It's starting from Nishada. Ni, ni, you can take the ni in ni or you can play the ni in dha itself like this. Ni, da, shake the da really well and you get your ni and then come bounce forward to get your da. 
pa ma ga ga to reconnect ni connect ni is in our original ga to that is the position of the ni to for this ragam sa ni da pa take your hand out it's pa now again go back to da sa so the avarohanam is security is made it is identified these are the phrases that are identifying phrases of sensuality now let's go to the kirtana muthu swami dikshit this beautiful kirtana in adi talam starts in samam now look on the screen very important the very first sangati you will have to look and capture the connect between the sahityam and the notes in at which point of the talam these sahityam fall for those of you again who are new to my channel do go and watch my vatapi ganapatim first part where i explained in detail how before you start making sangatis the connect between sahityam notes and talam should be first made as a pre preparation exercise mm. ganesh kumar pahi ma ganesh kumar पाहिमाम श्री गणेश कुमार पाहिमा गज मुख 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 गणेश कुमार पाहिमा फ्यू संगतीस फोर और फाइव संगतीस योर पल्लवी इज ओवर नाउ लेट्स गो इट स्टार्ट्स इन गांधारम ग मा ग ग रि स ग नेश यू हैव three syllables to that word which we are expressing here in the with the notation ka ma ga ga ri sa so you have three strikes to make for the three syllables to come out from the song so you strike ga and then in ga itself you push the ma and say ma ga ga ri si ma ga ri is also enough but ma ga ga ri one extra ga added that's called a microtone the more microtones you add within that tala space the better the richer your song will sound so you can say sa you strike ga one strike ma ga ga ri one strike and sa one strike again so if you finding it difficult to catch the ma in ga itself then you go to ma which is the very next note and say ga one strike ma ga ga ri one strike and sa one strike this will give you your ganesha kumar sani nidada pada kumar like ganesh you also you have three syllables kumar o sani one strike nidada pa one strike da one strike kumar sani one strike again nidada pa is one strike come back to da with a strike and then you have the talam there pa hi ma da pa da sa pa hi ma the sa gets another talam da to sa you connect da pa one strike 
da one strike and from da sa one strike once again we play this but remember that the eighth beat has to be left vacant till seven pa he mom is coming on the seventh beat eighth beat either you put a tap a thalam and wait or you can tap your leg for the eighth beat as though you are putting a thalam on your hand so all these gaps that are coming in the thalam unless you control them when you play with the mridangam or with your metronome the thala will not match so you have to be very clear cut about which of the beats are going to go vacant and hold on to it correctly so here the eighth beat is going vacant in the first sangati you have to leave that space and then go back again to your uh, playing ganesha kumara gamagarisa i played both taking the ma in ga pushing the ma in ga as well as taking it from ma itself any one of those would suit you fine kumara sani nidada pada thala da pada sa da pa one strike da one strike and from da to sa which is a connect that is one strike and then eighth beat you are leaving it vacant this will be your first sangati and this sangati go through it 10 times 20 times because once this is set the other sangati will be very easy for you to maneuver through the thala now the next one will be the same till the seventh beat till here it's going to be the same the last beat is going to be shri shri pada sari played in one strike or this is on the eighth beat remember and your the word that we are going to use there is shri so on the eighth beat if you are going to say shri on the first beat you are going to say ganesha so it will be like shri ganesha kumar so the connect will be so beautiful Now we go to the third sangati. Same thing is repeated till the seventh beat. No change till the seventh beat. So, the last beat you are going to say gaja muka sada sarvi. Either you can uh, strike all the notes, or you can do. um you can strike by skipping notes sada one strike sari one strike that is also going to uh, give out the gaja mukha very well or you can say all strike all the notes sada sari gaja mukha and then go back once again ganesha kumara Played three sangatis now. All three sangatis are same till the seventh beat. It's only the eighth beat we have made changes. So now for the next sangati, you're going to go to ga, 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 Ganesha. Now you're going to have three gas. It's like a janda varsai. So one of the notes, one of the gas, you give it a janda varsai feel. How do you do that? First ga goes from re. Last girl, you give it a gender verse. Kumar, gama ga 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 ga. One strike. Mag, ga mag ga ga. One strike. Mag ga one strike. And last another ga one strike. Kumar. Maga ga ga pa hi ma kari ri sa ri ga kari ri sa one strike from sa you strike to ri and then from ri you strike to ga once again ga 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 maga ga ga pa hi Repeat this, the striking aspect of this once again. 
From Re, you're going to say three gas, where the last ga you're going to give a gender say. First ga is a connect from Re. And then ga, ma, ga, 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 ko, ma, da. Three strikes here. Ga, one strike. Ma, ga, ga, one strike. And another ga, one strike. That makes it ku, ma, ra. Pa, hi, ma, ga, ri, ri, sa. डिफरेंट इ गणेशमारे now in the second variation the gaja mukha's position will shift to re gaja mukha ri sa re ga why are we doing this because the next sangati is going to go to ma So you're raising the notes. You're uh, taking the notes higher up in the arohana. Gaja muga. Now the sagati will be ba ba ba. Ganesha. Ma ma. Again, gender will say first mark can go from ga. The last mark can be a gender will say. Kumar. Gama one strike, and then push into pa from ma. To do a da pa pa ma, ga ma one strike, da pa pa ma one strike, ga one strike. Ko ma ra. I told you you need to have number of notations can be notes can be different, but the strikes has to happen only in three of those notes. Ga ma da pa pa ma da, ga ma da pa pa ma ga. You have. Eight matras here, of which you are going to strike ga ma one strike, ga pa pa ma one strike, ga is one strike. Kumar pa hi ma. Any one of the variations, two variations of pa hi ma we have given in the earlier uh, sangatis. Here I am playing ga ri ma ga sa ri. Ga ri ma ga. How do you play? Ga ri and ma ga pushed in ga itself. That is one strike. And from ga to sa, sa, and from sa to ri. Pa ri ma, ga ja mo ga ri sa ri ga. Because we are going to repeat the sangati once again with a variation in pa hi ma and Ganesha also. Ganesha Kumar, Kumar, ga ma ni da pa ma ga, Kumar, ga ma one strike. Nina pa ma with the knee pushed in da itself. Kumar gama one strike again. Nida pa ma one strike with the knee pushed in da. Da one strike again. Ganesha Kumar. Pa hi ma can be the next variation. Gari ri sa ri ga. I'm going to play these two variations of ma. Now the last I played re sa ri ga. No, that is wrong. For ga ja muka, we are going to say sa da sa ri. For this particular last sangati that I played, the gaja muka played on the eighth beat is going to be different. Let me show you. Sada sari, there is a reason for it. Why? 
because now there is a suspense to the uh, beautiful ragam that uh, sensuality is we are also going to include the sadharana gandharam or gaad 2 which is very next to the re so ganesha kumara will go like this re ga ga re sa so sensuality has a bhashaanga note in sadharana gandharam do the aravanam avarohanam is showing only the andara gandharam we also have sadharana gandharam peeping in every now and then so here we say sada sari ga ja muka ganesha re ga one strike going into andara gandharam not andara gandharam sadharana gandharam please remember this for this sangati it is ga 2 and not ga 3 Riga one strike, Gari one strike, Sa one strike. Ganesh, you can play it like Riga Gari Re Sa. Kumar, Dasa Dasa Riga Re Sa Ni Da Da Pa, Dasa Gari Re Sa Ni Da Da Pa. So Dasa one strike. And then from sa push into re to play gari re sa in one strike. Da sa one strike gari re sa ni da da pa. What is this? Kumar pa hi pa hi ma da pa da sa. There is no gap here. After Kumar, earlier we would just put a beat tala and say pa hi ma. Now there is no space for that. We have filled up the entire space. Da sa ga re re sa ni da da pa pa hi ma. Let me play this entire pallavi for you. this uh, kirtana really well when you start off and you can push it to 80 as well later on once the practice has happened and you have got the kirtana in your hands you can have tempo 80 also now the charnam a small two liner very beautiful manorat sitidayaka the first time when you are singing the eighth beat goes vacant again Look at the notation. Follow the sahityam notation and talam combination. Take it, absorb it in your mind. Sing it, pre-prepare, and then sit with the playing. Manorat siti da yeta. Manorat siti da yeta. Agama pada di no ta bawa shi. Guru Anu Taga Jamu Ka Ganesh Kumar Pahi Ma. Ma Pa Ma Ga. Strike all the four notes. Ma No Rata. Se Di Da Ye Ka. Also, uh, think of it as Gari Ma Ga Gari Ma in one strike, Ga in one strike. Sit D. You have two uh, uh, notes that you have to strike, but you have Gari Ma Ga 
So gari ma is one strike where you can take the ma to ma itself or push the ma in ga. The, that that will sound much better when you push it in ga itself. When you go to ma, it will sound gari ma ga. When it is inside ga, it will be gari ma ga. Siddhi daayaka. Gari risa riga. Gari risa in one strike. And from sa to re. And from re to ga. Daayaka. Gari risa one strike. Sa to re one strike. Re to ga one strike. That will be your daayaka. Once again I am going to play this. Now the eighth beat you're going to leave it again play. The second time when you're going to repeat this sahityam, you're going to say Ma Pani Dapa Maga Ma one strike. Pani Dapa is one strike. Again Maga one strike. Ma one strike, I said, Pani Dapa played in one strike with the knee pushed in Da. And then Maga, the last Maga, both used strike. This will be the same. Siddhi Dayaka, you are not going to change. Only the Manorata will change from the first Sagati. Let me play the first and the second Sagatis for you. Beat is left. Now on the eighth beat, you're going to say Aga, Aga of Aga Ma. Aga will come in the eighth beat, Ma will go to the first beat. Aga Ma, Ma Ga Ma. Now play the Ma Ga Ma pushed from Sa. From Sa, you push into Ga for the first Ma, and the second Ma should be played in Ma itself. Maga, first Maga in Ga itself, that is on the 8th beat and the Ma of the first beat will be in Ma itself. That is Aga Ma Padadi Padama So Pa to Da is a connect. You strike Pa and then you strike once more to go to Da and then from Da you strike and come to Ma. So two strikes in Pa and one strike in Da. Padadi, you've come to Ma now. Nuta. Pa ga. Ma to Pa, Pa to Ga. And then Ma Ri Ba Va. Ga from Ga you strike, go to Ma. And then from Ma you strike and come to Ri. Ba Va. Shri. Riga in one strike is Shri. Once again this whole thing. Agama, Padadi, Nuta, Bhava, Shri. Magama. From Sa, push the Maga in Ga. And the next Ma in Ma itself. That will be Agama for you. Now this Ma is going to get your Thalam. The, the Thalam, new Thalam is starting in Agama. Agama's Ma. Which is also in note ma. Both are the saitam and note are matching. Padadi. Double strike in pa, one for pa, one to go to da, then strike in da and come to ma. This was padadi. Nuta. Nuta will be paga. How do you play the paga? The strike for pa is coming from ma. And the strike for ga is coming from pa. Then Bhava Mari again the strike for Ma is coming from Ga and strike for Ri is coming from Ma. Shri Ri Ga. Let me play this. After this, you are going to say 
Guru Guhanuta Gaja Mukha Kama Gari Nida Kama Gari Sani Guru Guhanuta Kama Gari Sani All the notes are struck because you have uh, uh, the Sahityam like that. It's all crowded Sahityam. So unless you strike, you're not going to get the word Guru Guha Nuta Sani Tasarika Gaja Mukha Kama Gari Sani Dasarika I'm going to play from Agama Patadi Then you say Ganesha Let me play the full Charanam for you or any two sangatis mix and match Ganesha Gamma Gagarisa Komada which which we played towards the end the last sangati last time in Pallavi was like this Dasagarisa Nidadapa Pakarisa Pakima Pa and then directly to Ga, you go and say Gari one strike and Sa one strike. Wasn't that a beautiful Kirtana? Do practice this and write in my comment section if you have any doubts. Until then, best wishes.